Right, finally, uh, as you probably know, because it's all over the media, Donald Trump uh, a few days ago had dinner with Yi, uh, with uh, with Yi uh, and uh, you know Kanye West, um, who supposedly in the dinner asked Trump if Trump would be Yi's running mate because uh, Kanye is running for president, and he asked uh, Trump if he would be his vice presidential candidate. My understanding is that didn't go over too well with Trump. Uh, that Trump was not happy with that. Now, I don't know if that, that's, what, that's what Kanye West is saying. Yay or ye? Yay? Yay? Ye? You? Ya? Yeah, ya? Yeah, whatever. Um, but uh, look, it's, that is all complete. Um, that is all, uh, uh, I think, complete uh, nonsense. Um, I mean, ye is, is not mentally here. He's not... Uh, he's not I mean, if you saw his interview with, um, with Lex Friedman, uh, Kanye West is not it, mentally, he's just not here. He's not connected to reality. Um, but anyway, Donald Trump had dinner with him. But together with him, and uh, uh, I guess on friendly terms with Kanye West, and walking through the airport with Kanye West, and going to dinner at Trump with Kanye West, was Nick Fuentes. Now, I don't know how many of you know Nick Fuentes, but Nick Fuentes is uh, one of the worst, uh, you know, racist, anti-Semitic, uh, alt-right, you know, nutcases out there. Uh, he is real, a real anti-Semite, not, you know, Kanye is, is, is what? Kanye is kind of, who knows what Kanye is? But, uh, but Nick Fuentes is a real anti-Semite. Um, he is an authoritarian. He is an anti-American in every aspect of what it means to be America. Uh, he is an ugly, slick, just, you just watch him for five minutes and it, it, it's just, it's, it, it, he is so despicable. He is explicitly a racist, un, unapolog you know, unapologetic uh, racist. Um, and, uh, and the fact that he would be having dinner with the former president of the United States and the leading candidate of the Republican Party uh, for the presidency in 2014 is disgusting, disgraceful, it's pathetic, it's, you know, it's beneath the Republican Party. The fact that not everybody in the Republican Party, everybody in the Republican Party has condemned uh, this uh, this is is pathetic. This is why the Republican Party. One of the reasons, many reasons, the Republican Party loses. Why intelligent uh, uh, people will not. A lot of intelligent people will not vote for them. Uh, you know, this is this is a direct a, a direct association between. Uh, you know, the worst, worst, worst elements of the right. The authoritarian, religionist, uh, racist, anti-Semitic elements on the right with a Trump. St. Louis says Catholics are the coolest and wisest. I'm going to do a show on the integralists, which will not be very cool with Catholics. <laughs> and these are wise Catholics. Patrick Deneen and, and Vimul and, and Soha Bamari, these are very, very, uh, very, very uh, uh, cool. These are like, like hip Catholics these days. Really, really, really bad guys. Really, really, really threatening to every aspect of liberty possible. But I, that's a show in the, in the near future that I will do. Uh, so, um, yeah, Trump met with Nick Fuentes. And the other thing is, of course, uh, Kanye West is a friend of Nick Fuentes. Kanye West had positive things to say about Nick Fuentes. Kanye and Nick Fuentes were just walking along as if chummy chummy. That says a lot about Kanye. And uh, you know how despicable Kanye is uh, and, and, and what kind of character he really is. So, um, yeah, I mean, the people you associate with tells you tells a lot about who you are 
about who you are, about your values and about your character. And um, I think uh, I think the Nick Fuentes angle tells us a lot about Kanye. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a surprise. It tells us a lot about Trump. Not a surprise to me, but maybe a big surprise to a lot of people who supported him. A lot of Jews who supported him. Um, Maybe, maybe a big surprise to them. Will he, will he say anything against uh, Fuentes? Probably not. Remember, uh, Trump has always uh, cultivated the alt-right. He's always quietly let the alt-right kind of in on things so, or, 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 or get by and, and never really condemned them and made a point of never really condemned Because he knows that a lot of the support, a lot of the getting people riled up comes from that kind of mentality. I mean, remember that Marjorie Taylor, whatever, uh, was, was also, what was it, Jews, lasers, something? I mean, here's another conspiracy theorist where Jews were part, I mean, another anti-Semite. So just uh, horrible, horrible, and a further deterioration in American politics and a further... Uh, consistent path that Trump has taken us on. Uh, and, um, you know, let's hope that all these things add up. But, but I think that at the end of the day, uh, Kanye and Nick Fuentes visiting Trump and having dinner with him is the same as him shooting somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue. It just bounces right off people, the, the, the people who follow him. And the, the people who care about it we're probably not going to vote for Trump anyway. Although at the margin, I think it matters. I think it makes him less and less and less electable. It makes him maybe, it doesn't hurt him that much in terms of the primaries, but it hurts him a lot in terms of a general election. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.